today we are going to be uh, talking about uh, breast MRI. Uh, this is an important topic uh, for exam. And if you are reporting these cases, if you are doing them in your hospital, um, you do need to know the basics for reporting as, as a resident. Um, for exam point of view, not very, very important except theory. Uh, practical cases on breast MRI you would uh, get. Uh, so important for reporting purposes. So that's what the focus is going to be, which is uh, what are the pointers? What is the Byraj Atlas lexicon? That's what we're going to be talking about. Bone marrow lesions, okay. Mm, all right. Yeah, we can do that. I, I, I'll take that up. You can also let me know what all topics you want because now I, I think we have finished whatever you had requested for. So if you have anything else in mind, you can let me know. Uh, spinal lesions are due this month and then we have some case discussions lined up and one class on CP angles is pending from my end. So all of those are there. Anything else that you want from uh, you know our end, you let us know as far as topics, exam topics specific for exam goings are concerned. And also those of you are exam going residents or, or second years also and want to uh, participate in the case discussion, we have case discussion discussion coming up uh, on Tuesday. Okay, so you can let me know by tonight or tomorrow. So I'll, I'll, I'll share those cases. Yes, spinal tumors is this month only, 19th, I think. Okay, so you can let me know or uh, whoever wants to, it'll just be a case which we will discuss. So nothing to be scared of, but it'll just be a mock of, you know, what you will be uh, going through soon. So that is what is lined up. We have three case discussions for this month. So, uh, you know, whoever is interested, we can just discuss a case. All right, let's start with breast MRI. So first of all, I'm talking about an introduction to why we need breast MRI and why um, we shouldn't do it in every case. Okay, so the advantages are obviously that there is no radiation. Uh, the most important advantage and one of the main indications of where we do use breast MRI a lot are in younger females with uh, breast density where mammography doesn't allow us to pick up a lot of lesions there. MRI becomes very handy. The breast density doesn't have have uh, an influence on this, right? The notes are uh, have already gone for print, okay? So you should be getting them in the next 10, 10 to 15 days max. So they will soon be dispatched. The team will get in touch with you for the addresses and everything. Uh, so they've gone for print, okay? The final thing is we are just trying to integrate uh, QR codes of the videos with the lecture notes. So that's the only book which is, we're just trying to do something fancy. And, and you know, that's why we have not... Uh, sent that to print but in the next two three days that will also go for print so they should be uh, coming to you very soon okay no I'm focusing on both I'm trying to focus everywhere if you see my schedule it's uh, crazy because the CR books have been taking a lot of time that's why I haven't kept a lot of sessions for you guys in the last few months uh, you know I mean I'm taking seven to eight but you know I'm that's what I'm taking but hopefully I'll get more time but yeah, I'm trying to balance to the best of my ability, okay? How to memorize so much knowledge exam is coming? See, radiology is what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life, right? You're not doing it for your exam. So this is something which is a part of your skill and you don't have to remember everything. Whatever you have learned, you have to express in writing, in theory, you know. Nobody is going to sit and read every line that you are writing. So make sure that you write the gist of it. You write it in a way that it seems that you know the topic, you know. So all of those skills are important. And why why it's all about Again, how fluent you are with your description. You should know the right things to say, the negative things to say. So I, I feel exam giving again becomes more of, you know, a, a, a expression game in radiology more than knowledge game. So, so, you know, you have to be very good and don't stop, don't fumble, don't be nervous. So if you're confident, you know, uh, the exam will will be going well so these are skills you have acquired through the last three years uh you know so don't don't worry about that uh yeah you don't have to memorize everything here uh you will be asked for addresses in this week only this week yeah daily classes is not possible yeah i mean <laughs> i'm not taking daily classes for anybody and daily classes you are having other faculty which you like right so everybody is trying to teach what they know the best okay so that is what is more important that you keep learning yeah yeah i will take as frequently as possible <laughs> okay all right come on let's start so abhi ki class shuru karte hai 
it won't be asked on telegram it will be asked on on whatsapp through an official number only okay so so don't please don't be uh, scammed that's my biggest fear okay so advantages of breast mri no ionizing radiation breast density has no influence so that's why we use it for screening in younger patients you know and basically it's a problem solving tool so if i have to tell you in one line screening in younger females who are high risk and problem solving for diagnosis you know so that is where we are using breast mri essentially uh, and the disadvantages obviously is you know you don't do it very very readily uh, it is expensive and the most important is that the specificity is low right so it is very important here that breast mri has a very high sensitivity that's why it was very attractive initially but then people found out that it is not as specific as we want it to be so a lot of things we are picking but we don't know what to do with them right so as you will uh, realize so this is what you need to remember so these are the indications according to um, ACR so this is what you have to write and this is what you need to know so annual MRI screening is recommended for these high-risk patients so this is Burka mutation first degree relative of a Burka carrier and if the lifetime risk there are many models for CA breast right so if the lifetime risk by any model is 20 or to 25 percent or greater that is when we do radiotherapy to the chest is another indication Lee-Fromani syndrome and then there are other syndromes where the risk is increased like Cowden you know Cowden bet breast endometrium thyroid these are the risks which are increased and there's another uh uh, syndrome. This is Banayan Riley Rubalcaba. This also has hematomatous polyps like Cowden syndrome. Okay. So these are the syndromes where MRI screening is advised. Normally, the age at which we start is somewhere between 25 to 30. This is not mentioned in the guidelines but a usual time is around some guidelines say 25 some say 30 so this is when they start undergoing mri for diagnostic so this is for screening for diagnostic purposes it's a very very clinical decision there are no guidelines as such it's used as a problem solving tool whenever needed so now what you have to remember is the technique right so this is what you need to know so first of all before i go into the sequences the technique so confirm what is the indication is it even required review the previous mammography so it's very unlikely that unless you know you have a high risk patient coming for screening without any investigation the first investigation that will be ordered for a breast mass will be breast mri that never happens so the patient would have undergone mammography ultrasound review it before you put the patient in the scanner review what are the indications right this is important for you guys to know that ideally we want to do it in the fifth to twelfth day so this is uh you know the early follicular phase and this is when the fibroglandular parenchyma is the minimum because it proliferates under the influence of progesterone so this is a phase where the progesterone is the least okay so this contributes to minimum background parenchymal enhancement phase okay so that is why this is the timeline we will see less background parenchymal enhancement okay so this is why we prefer it but if it is a diagnostic case you will not delay it. so this is ideal when you are doing it for screening and it's an elective indication but if you are doing it for a diagnostic purpose uh you know then uh you will do it on any day. Already addressed the notes, Dr. Vijay. So we uh, will be dispatching them in the next uh, one week or so, next 10 days to be realistic. We The team will reach out to you for the addresses. The books are already in print, okay? So that's the update. Talking about uh, the equipment, so magnet of 1.5 Tesla or more, Contrast breast MRI is always contrast enhanced. All right, we never do a non-contrast breast MRI. It doesn't serve any purpose. So we will be using gadolinium-based contrast. Uh, this is the normal um, uh, uh, rate, and the flow rate is two ml per second, and the normal volume is 0.1 millimole per kg. Breast coils. So these are the surface breast coils. I'm sure you would have seen them if uh, you know you do breast MRIs in your setup. So these are the surface coils. So this is where the patient lies prone. Can you see this? So this is where the patient lies prone and the breast will be hanging in these surface coils. Okay, so you have to make sure of one thing here that there is no abdomen abdominal fat coming into the coil and there are no skin folds. So that is something which is essential. So for that, they recommend doing this, you know. So can you understand the orientation these are the hands of the patient the hand of the patient again is some